welcome everyone in this video lecture we will think about the power dissipation delay and power density estimation in constant field and constant voltage scaling so first of all we have to know what is scaling so basically the term scaling is nothing but simply we can say a process of reducing a process of reducing horizontal and vertical dimension of a MOS okay MOSFET we can write okay means we are just reducing reducing the horizontal horizontal as well as and vertical dimension okay by some by some scaling factor by some scaling factor factor say s which is greater than one which is greater than one okay so now there are two types okay this is scaling is first one we can say constant field okay and the another one is our constant voltage okay so in case of constant field we have to maintain we have to maintain constant electric field okay and in case of constant voltage we have to maintain constant voltage voltage or you can say the geometry dimension of the most device are scaled by some factor s okay or you can say the dimension we can write dimension of MOS can be scaled by keeping voltage constant okay this one is some theory okay now we have to move to the constant voltage and constant field scaling so I am writing here constant field and here I am writing constant voltage okay the key line okay I am highlighting this one okay so the first thing that we are going to discuss is our power dissipation okay so for power dissipation power dissipation simply we can write as v n i okay or this one is a pd i'm writing so power dissipation is v i okay clear so this one before scaling i am writing before scaling power dissipation will be vi okay in this case also the power dissipation equals to same vi before scaling okay now if we want to go for the 
power scaling uh, sorry power dissipation after scaling so power scaling after scaling so i am writing that uh, power pd des equals to v des i des okay i am writing this one as after scaling okay in this case also we can write pd des equals to v des i des after scaling now now what we are doing i am saying in constant field scaling this voltage will be scaled okay in case of constant field this feed is is somehow scaled by the original voltage by some v by s and what about i des we don't know okay so for this purpose we are thinking that the drain current is in the saturation i des in saturation okay we will go step by step so we can write as mu n cox des into w des l des vg s des minus vt des whole square simple i des current or drain current i d a i d we can write i d des okay so here the mobility is constant before and after scaling we are assuming but for the uh, what we can say oxide capacitance oxide capacitance that is our cox so what is the change in the cox so for this purpose i am just writing cox okay cox equals to epsilon not x by t o x okay so this one i am writing before scaling the oxide capacitance is this much okay after scaling we can write as epsilon not x des by t o x des so now this epsilon not x the permittivity we are taking as constant and t o x can be written as t o x by s because this one we have scaled by some scaling factor x by t o x by s so it should be s times of t o x so it should be s times of c o x so we can write c o x c o x des is s times of c o x it is very important okay because at the end we have to put this c o c not c not x des is this one. okay and the other term say wl i am writing here okay now this w des is nothing but simply our w by s and l des the length is nothing but simply l by s after scaling and vgs the term vgs des will be because this is a constant field so voltage will be also scaled so it should be v by s okay i am making one more this line okay so again i am highlighting all this term we have to replace okay so now say so this one is equation number 1 so now we have to take the equation number 1 so we can write as id des in case of saturation i am writing sat okay so we can write as mu n cox should be our s times of cox from equation 1 from equation 1 now we are writing this one s times of cox and it should be w by s we can write as l by s into vgs by s minus vt by s whole square okay so this one will be s s will be cancel out here s square term will be there so it should be simply if we think 
it should be id by s is it okay is the upper term okay one more line we can write mu n cox bgs minus bt whole square okay and this s by 1 by s square okay this s s cancel so it should be id by s so the, this one is nothing but simply id set in case of constant field scaling it should be id by s okay so so now now we have id so now we have to go for the power dissipation after scaling so we can write pd there okay power dissipation after scaling is our what v days into id days okay in saturation so it should be v okay v by s into id days so it should be simply write i by s so it should be v i by s square so it should be our pd simple pd before scaling so power dissipation in this case will be pd days equals to original one by the square okay power dissipation in case of constant or field scaling power dissipation in case of constant field scaling so is it clear so now we have to move for the okay i have to draw a line here is it okay okay so power dissipation part is over okay now we have to go for this one in case of constant field scaling so pd days is v days i days okay so what we can write now again the id days or this id we can write as id days also we can write okay id days in saturation the same formula we have to write mu n cox days w days l days vgs days by this vt days whole square so this will be simply mu n s times of cox we can directly write because here we have already derived cox should be s cox and it should be w by s l by s okay and for the constant voltage scaling it should be same as that of original one okay i am writing here in constant voltage scaling vg days is the thing but simply is the simple one before scaling and after scaling the get to source voltage will be constant and vt days will be also vt so there is no s term we have to write same same value vgs and vt days will be same so this s we this s will be cancel out so directly we can write id days in saturation after scaling will be simply id into s or simply write s types of id okay this was okay already we have find the cox so we can directly put here cox value okay now we have to go for the power dissipation now for the power dissipation say pd this okay after 
scaling after scaling is nothing but simply v days into id days we can write in case of constant voltage scaling v days equals to v for constant voltage for constant voltage okay so this should be v into id days and id days should be s times of id so it should be s times of t d we can write before scaling before scaling it should, it should be pd so we we have to write simply pd days okay after scaling will be s types of pd clear okay now we have to move for the okay so this was for the power dissipation in case of constant voltage and this was for the constant field scaling okay now we have to go for the delay okay for delay one okay so for delay that is somehow delayed by tau is c v i the formula c v i total capacitance total capacitance into total voltage voltage by current okay so now in this case what we have to do first think about with delay without delay this one we can say without scaling without scaling now if we go for the scaling so t days we can write it with scaling so with scaling it should be c days v days and it should be our i days okay so for the total capacitance c the capacitance formula a epsilon naught by d okay when two parallel flat capacitor is there so now in this case c days should be our a days take epsilon naught and it should be d days okay so now c days will be written as a by s square area will be a by s square epsilon naught by this should be our d days by s so s square will be cancelled so it should be c by s is the capacitance okay so we can simply write tau des equals to the c des can be written as c by s c by s in case of constant field scaling it should be v by s and i the drain one drain current equation i id after scaling it should be id by s id by s so we can write it cv by s square into id into s so this s s cancel so we can write it cv id into s so this one is simply we can write it tau s so the delay after scaling is tau by s okay now in case of constant voltage constant voltage scaling t days with a scaling equals to we can write c days v days by i days okay so here c days simply we can write it c by s already we have find and v so simply v because constant voltage due to constant voltage and i days i days we have that is our id days is h times of id 
S types of ID. So we can write a CV S square ID or we can write a tau by S square. So in this case, this T days that is our tau days with a scaling with a scaling equals to tau by S square. Okay. So what we have observed that the delay 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 that is okay what we have observed delay that is our tau days in case of constant field is greater than the tau days of constant voltage scaling okay delay is more delay is more in constant field in comparison to constant voltage okay so this one is very important thing delay will be more in case of constant field but constant field have several advantages like power dissipation will be less power dissipation but here the power dissipation pd in constant field scaling is less than the constant voltage so this one is the advantages okay one more thing that is left now we can say power density okay so i will try so power density one more term power density power pdy is nothing but simply power dissipation per unit area okay so pdy is power density it is our power density that is our vi by you can write it area okay so pdy des after scaling you can write v des i des into area des okay vi by a you can write so power density for the constant voltage voltage will be same i the i value i we have already know s times of id we can write okay and area so area is scaled by a by s square so it should be s cube pdy okay so pdy is nothing but simply s cube pdy in case of constant voltage scaling in constant voltage scaling power density is very much increased but in case of pdy in case of constant field scaling it should be our v v des i des by a des so constant volt field scaling so it should be v by s and i des that is our current i d by s and area a by s square so s square s square cancel out so it should be same as this one so pdy des equals to pdy in case of there is no space so i am using this space for constant void field sorry constant field scaling so this one is a very great advantage of this constant field scaling that power density is constant before and after scaling constant constant field scaling power density is constant in before and after scaling you can write before and after scaling so we have observed that power dissipation automatically reduced in case of constant field scaling okay power density is constant in constant field scaling but power density is very much higher 
in case of constant voltage scaling. So this one is a disadvantage constant voltage scaling. But the only penalty is that in constant field, the delay is slightly more in case of constant voltage scaling. So the only delay uh, penalty is constant voltage scaling here less delay in comparison to the constant field scaling. So this is all about the estimation of other parameters like some useful parameter like power dissipation delay and power density in constant field and constant voltage scaling. So thank you for watching this video.